Just outside the small town of Glenrose, there is a place where endangered species roam free. A place with a goal to keep a safe space for these animals to live and to teach people just like you along the way. Because when we teach people to love the nature around them, it won't just breed more animals, it will breed compassion for all kinds. So join us as we explore Fossil Rim Wildlife Center. Have you ever heard of birds that dance to attract a mate? Like those little South American birds you see on the Planet Earth episodes. Well, we have our very own dancing bird here in Texas, and it's known as the Atwater's Prairie Chicken. And it's a small brown bird, about 17 inches long. It weighs about one and a half to two and a half pounds. Males have large orange air sacs on the sides of their necks. And even though it's referred to as a prairie chicken, it's actually a grouse. Atwater's prairie chickens live on coastal prairie grasslands with tall grasses such as blue stem, Indian grass, and switchgrass. Okay, back to the dance moves. Their dance moves are so impressive. It was even the inspiration behind some Native American dances. This mating dance is called booming. Booming takes place on display grounds called leks. The males gather on the leks in late January to attract females by strutting and calling. Breeding begins in February, and this booming is how they get the attention of the ladies. The male stretches his neck forward and parallel to the ground, with neck tufts pointing forward like horns. The tail is held vertically, and the wings are extended downward and held firmly against the body and legs. A short run forward is followed by a vigorous stamping of the feet filling the yellow air sacs in sync with the stamping. This only lasts for a few moments, but under favorable conditions, is distinctly audible for 50 feet or more. The first syllable of the booming is always given before the stamping ends. The male quickly jerks his head downward as he begins the call, and keeps it there until the sac is deflated. It's hard work to attract a mate. In a perfect world, the females would be watching and would have many males to choose from. But in a breeding center like ours, it's more like a blind date. The dancing will stop around May, and the male loses his bright coloring and acquires the camouflage colors of the females until the next mating season. The females select the nest site, lay, incubate, and hatch their eggs. The hen lays a dozen eggs, and in the wild, if she's lucky, they'll hatch about 26 days later though only about 30% of all nests escape predators. The surviving chicks stay with the hen for at least six weeks. Okay, so there is always a point in our videos where we have to talk about why and how this animal has become endangered. And with only 100 Atwater's prairie chickens in the wild, they are very endangered. So here it goes. But first, how about a quiz? So how many of these birds were there over 100 years ago? What do you think? A, 1 million? B, 100,000? C, 10,000? Or D, 1,000? Keep in mind, there's only 100 today. More than a century ago, the Atwater's prairie chicken population was estimated to be a million birds. They were once found on six million acres of prairie along the Gulf Coast from Corpus Christi to the north in Louisiana. The coastal prairies started disappearing as cities and towns sprouted up, industries grew, and farmers plowed up the native grasslands for crops or for pastures. Many grassland species slowly found they had nowhere to go, including the Atwater's prairie chicken. The eerie mating call of the Atwater's prairie chicken is a haunting reminder that another wildlife species is on the verge of extinction. This rapidly disappearing habitat had the World Wildlife Fund and the Nature Conservancy concerned and this prompted them to purchase about 3,500 acres of prairie in the 1960s. This land was then purchased by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in 1972, and today they run the Atwater Prairie Chicken National Wildlife Refuge. They even sent some of these endangered birds to places like Fossil Rim to ensure this species continues to grace the Texas landscape. And these facilities here in Texas hatch and raise these chicks and then with assistance from the refuge, they are brought down to South Texas and acclimated for release. 
Due to the threats that these birds face, it is necessary that these releases happen every year. Which means there is a lot of effort, energy, and passion that is put in by people who believe this bird is worth saving and believe that we can make a difference. All right, guys, we're out of here, but we want to see your best Atwater's Prairie Chicken dance moves. If you think you can do the stomp, use hashtag Fossil Rim or tag us at Fossil Rim on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks for learning about this endangered neighbor of ours. And remember to stay wild. <laughs>